Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is part of the playlist called SQL Developer Tips. And here we learn how to run multiple SQL queries in SQL Developer. So you are now looking at Oracle's IDE called SQL Developer. So normally when we execute an SQL statement, um, we execute a single statement at a time okay so this is how it's done normally on uh, a normal day you put your sql statement there in sql developer and then you either click on the run button at the toolbar or you could uh, do a key combination of control enter which you'll also see when you uh, point at this uh, button it uh, shows you control enter so that's what you can do and after you execute the statement in SQL developer, the result set or the data grid will be displayed at the bottom. Okay, so that's the normal way of doing it. Um, now let's say we have another query. Let me get the, the next select statement that we could um, execute and I'll put it here. Um, if I execute this, so it does the same thing, but what you will notice is that the previous result set, uh, the one that is the output of the first statement has been overwritten by the most recent SQL or select statement execution, okay? So the I'm talking about this grid over here, the query result has been overwritten or has been um, replaced by this second statement. So in this video, we'll be learning how to get around that and leverage on a functionality, a feature of SQL developer that will allow you to run multiple SQL statements at a time, okay? Okay, so let me just get my, uh, I will be working on, let's say, I'm just putting here three select statements, but in reality, you could do a lot more than this. Of course, there are drawbacks, there are, um, what is this trade-offs for this? If you put too many of them, 50, 100, then of course it will be a slow process, but you get the drift. Uh, so uh, let's start off with just three select statements. And to do this, what you will do is you're gonna be highlighting all three or what, whatever number of select statements you have here. You paste them here and then you highlight them all. So if you remember when we did uh, an execution of the select statement previously in this video, um, the latest SQL statement being executed, the result set of that or query result replaces or overwrites the one of the previous run, okay? So here we're gonna be executing three, but like I said, you can experiment with as many as you can, uh, granted as long as the result set, I mean the elapsed time, the time it takes to uh, return that the result is acceptable to you. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight these three select statements and then um, I have two ways of doing this, like what you've seen or what I mentioned previously. One is by clicking on this toolbar button, which is the run. And the other way is to using the key combination of control enter. So while control is pressed or held down, you press on con uh, enter, control enter. Okay, so the difference here, if you, as you can see at the bottom of the data grid, is that we are able to execute all three select statements at a time or in one go. It saves you time. And then, well, not only that, the other advantage is that the result set doesn't get overwritten by the succeeding one. Okay, unlike before, when we run this first statement, it showed the output for that. But when we run the second one, it replaced or over it all uh, it has overwritten the results of the first select statement but in this case by simultaneously running all three of them uh it saves us time and it also shows us the three result sets okay query this one is for the first query this one is for the second this one is for the third okay so the first one is select a query of customer table customer table Second is uh, a query on the table called city time. Okay, with some more condition. And the third is a query on geocodes or geographical codes. Okay, so that's sweet because it, again, like I said, it saves you time and effort and it shows you um, the multiple query results instead of 
overlapping, I mean, overriding each other. The other thing you have to point, uh, I have to highlight here is that in SQL Developer, this ID tool you're looking at, um, the other thing that SQL Developer gives you is the time elapsed or the time taken for SQL, for Oracle to churn out, to give you the results. So in this case, this is the grid or the result set of the first query. The time taken to bring this out to you is, is right here, 0 0.002 seconds. If I click on the second one, it took uh, SQL Developer 0 0.001. Okay, and here's your point zero zero two. Okay, so here it's that quick because we're only dealing with uh, a few records in the table. Once you have a table with um, so many records or so many columns in them, then uh, you will see the dramatic increase in the elapsed time. Okay, so I hope we learned something from this uh, little video. And this is basically teaching you how to run multiple SQL queries at one go in SQL Developer. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and spread the word. I hope to see you in the next video.